Now, to learn more about this brewing diplomatic crisis in North Korea, we turn once again to Leon Siegel, a project director at the Social Science Research Council here in New York. Welcome back. It's good to be back. The United States, uh, it appears that there's been provocation from North Korea. We had a nuclear detonation, we've had missiles launched, and now we've had the conviction of these two American journalists. The U.S. would like to put North Korea back on the list of countries that sponsor state terror. Can you easily do that? Not unless they've you know, committed some new act of terrorism, and I don't know of any. So, you know, if you want to do sanctions, you can do sanctions independent of that, but putting them on the list doesn't, doesn't seem to me an appropriate What's step. the benefit of putting them on this list? Well, the Japanese would very much like them back on the list. The current government in Japan doesn't want us to negotiate, and I see this as another barrier to negotiations. Another step the United States is talking about is possibly stopping North Korean shipping in ports or even on the high seas, inspecting them, looking for weapons, looking for possible nuclear technology. Is that really feasible? Well, it, it certainly is feasible to do a port inspection. If you have a ship that pulls into port that you have, that has suspect narcotics or anything else, you can do a port inspection. Uh, if, the, if the UN authorizes it, which I think is possible, that makes sense. On the high seas, it's a different matter. I mean, that's... A, Stopping a ship on the high seas has been grounds for the United States to go to war with Britain in history. We, we believe in freedom of the seas. If the UN were to authorize that, I think you, you might be able to arrange stopping ships at sea, but, but you shouldn't do it anywhere near North Korea because you're apt to provoke a firefight. What about getting China involved? That's something the U.S. has thought about helping them with these inspections. Do you think China would go along? I think they might under certain circumstances. Um, I think they might go along with a resolution on port inspections, and they might prevent uh, planes from flying through their airspace that they had reason to believe was carrying uh, missile or nuclear equipment. The Obama administration appears to be wanting to take a tougher stance, yet we have these two American journalists now that have just been convicted. Presumably, we want to bring them home as soon as possible. How much of a problem are they for the American policy now? Well, I'd argue, actually, that they're a bit of an opportunity. Look, the only way out of this problem is to negotiate in a way that begins to ease North Korea's insecurity and see what we can get on the nuclear and missile side. No guarantees. But you have to negotiate to get these women out, and you need to do it soon. You don't want to leave them there. If you could send somebody in the North, receive them at an appropriate high level, uh, you might go beyond getting them freed to start the negotiations you need to have to deal with the nuclear and missile issue. Who do we send? Well, I think you could send Al Gore, you could send Bill Clinton, you could send Henry Kissinger. It's got to be somebody of stature, somebody who could then be met by the highest level possible in North, North Korea, and ideally Kim Jong-il himself. Leon Siegel, as always, we appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks.